There are a lot of wearable assistive devices that have been developed in the past decade. And for good reason, actually around 10% of the population reports having difficulty doing things like even lifting a 10 pound object. And so there are approaches to try to assist people in executing these motions. But a typical problem that comes along with that is that in order to use assistive wearable technology, you either have to be tethered to a source of power to operate the assistive wearable, or alternatively, if you would like to be untethered, you have to carry around a bulky power supply. And so we set out to eliminate the requirement to have this bulky power supply on board. And so instead of designing an electronics-based energy harvesting system, we set out to build a system that operated solely on pressurized air. In our case, we used only textiles and open cell lightweight foam to build a system that every time your foot strikes the ground during walking, takes a little bit of pressure and transfers it to a wearable uh, belt worn around the waist for later use in these assistive actuators. We focused on keeping the system really lightweight and also inexpensive. The whole system costs on the order of about $20 in terms of the materials required. And we also made sure that it was really robust or durable. And so I have actually an example of one of the insole devices here that we use to harvest energy every time the user takes a step. And this particular version of the device was cycled uh, for over 100,000 steps of actual use. We're excited about the real world potential, and especially given the context that we were able to generate an amount of power, in this case on the order of about three watts as our maximum available power delivery, that actually exceeds uh, all of the outstanding or existing systems that operate on uh, electronic technology.